In the small town of Topsy-Turvy, there was a very peculiar school. It wasn't peculiar because of its size, or its color, or even its students. No, what made this school special was that it was completely upside down. The school stood on its roof, with its foundation pointing towards the sky. The flag fluttered from a pole sticking out of the ground, and the playground was suspended in midair. It was a sight that made newcomers to Topsy-Turvy rub their eyes in disbelief. Our story begins on the first day of school, as young Lily skipped along the sidewalk. She was new in town and excited to start at her upside-down school. As she approached the building, she saw other children walking up the walls to enter through windows. Some swung from tree branches to reach higher classrooms. Oh my, Lily gasped, her pigtails quivering with excitement. How am I supposed to get in? Just then, a boy with wild, gravity-defying hair floated down next to her. Hi there. You must be new. I'm Max, he said with a friendly grin. Need a hand getting in? Lily nodded eagerly, and Max pulled out what looked like an ordinary jump rope. But when he started spinning it, Lily felt her feet leave the ground. We. Oui. She squealed as they floated up to an open window. Inside, the classroom was a wonderful chaos. Desks hung from the ceiling, or was it the floor, and the teacher, Miss Topsy, wrote on a chalkboard that seemed to float in midair. Books fluttered around like birds, and pencils drew doodles all by themselves. Welcome, everyone. Miss Topsy said, her hair standing straight up, or was it hanging down? Let's start with roll call. When I call your name, please say, present, and do a somersault. As names were called, children flipped and twirled through the air. When it was Lily's turn, she hesitated. I... I don't know how to somersault in the air, she admitted, blushing. No worries, Lily, Miss Topsy smiled. In our school, we believe in learning by doing. Class, let's all help Lily learn how to air somersault. Soon, the entire class was showing Lily how to twist and turn in the air. By the end of roll call, she was giggling and flipping with the best of them. The rest of the day was just as topsy-turvy. In math class, numbers floated off the pages and danced around students' heads. During reading time, the stories leapt from the books and acted themselves out in midair. And in art class, the paintings would change and move as if alive. At lunch, Lily watched in amazement as sandwiches unfolded themselves and floated into students' mouths. Drinks poured upwards into cups, and apple slices juggled themselves for entertainment. But the real excitement came during PE. The gymnasium was a massive space where gravity seemed to have no walls at all. Students bounced off walls played zero-gravity basketball, and had races by swimming through the air. Today, we're going to play topsy-turvy tag, announced Mr. Flip, the PE teacher who was currently standing on the ceiling. The rules are simple. If you're tagged, you have to move in the opposite direction of everyone else until you tag someone new. The game was chaotic and hilarious. Students zoomed in all directions, flipping and spinning to avoid being tagged. Lily found herself laughing so hard she could barely move, especially when she got tagged and had to figure out which way was opposite. After PE, it was time for science with Dr. Whirl. The laboratory was filled with bubbling beakers that changed colors and shapes, plants that grew in spirals, and tiny tornadoes in jars. Today, we're going to learn about the topsy-turvy force, Dr. Well announced. His mustache twitched with excitement. It's what keeps our school upside down and allows us to defy gravity. Can anyone tell me its three main properties? Max's hand shot up. Ooh, I know. Flip, twist, and swell. Excellent, Max. Dr. Well beamed. 
Now, let's experiment with creating our own topsy-turvy bubbles. The class spent the next hour blowing bubbles that turned inside out, changed shapes, and even carried small objects. Lily managed to create a bubble big enough to float inside. She drifted around the classroom in fits of giggles. As the school day came to an end, Lily felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. How do we get down? She asked Max as they packed their floating backpacks. Max grinned and pointed to a giant slide. It spiraled from the school's foundation down to the ground. We take the twirly-whirly slide, of course. Lily's eyes widened with delight. One by one, students jumped onto the slide, spinning and laughing as they made their way to the ground. When it was Lily's turn, she took a deep breath and leaped. The ride was incredible. She spun and twisted, seeing flashes of the town upside down and right side up as she whisked down the slide. She landed on her feet, dizzy but thrilled. As Lily walked home, her head still spinning slightly, she couldn't stop smiling. She couldn't wait to tell her parents about her amazing day at the upside down school. That night, as she lay in bed, Lily's room seemed to spin and flip just like the school. But instead of feeling dizzy, she felt wonderfully excited for all the topsy-turvy adventures to come. In her dreams, Lily somersaulted through clouds, wrote with flying pencils, and played tag with numbers and letters. When she woke up the next morning, she jumped out of bed, ready to discover what new upside-down wonders awaited her at school. As days went by, Lily grew more comfortable with the topsy-turvy ways of her new school. She learned to write in mid-air, to think upside-down, and to always expect the unexpected. She made many friends, not just with her classmates, but also with the living books in the library and the sentient science experiments. Lily realized that in this upside-down school, it wasn't just the building that was flipped, it was the whole approach to learning. Mistakes were celebrated as opportunities to learn, questions were encouraged more than answers. Imagination was considered as important as facts. And so, in the town of Topsy-Turvy, in a school that stood on its head, Lily and her friends learned not just reading, writing, and arithmetic, but also creativity, adaptability, and the joy of looking at the world from a different perspective. After all, in a topsy-turvy world, the most important lesson is that there's no single right side up, and that's what makes life so wonderfully exciting.